Hey everyone, welcome to Figure Fantasy. So for October, we're going to be exploring a new format. So please do make sure that you comment if you like this format or you would prefer the previous format. But for this one, I'm sure you're going to be seeing a different perspective, especially on the different positions that we have for this game. So on to our tier list and we'll start with our defenders. Okay, guys, so now you guessed it. The tier list is going to be divided among defenders, vanguards, militarists, specialists, and helpers. This includes your purple rarity figures. So as you can see here, your tier D has Rico, Yuki, Guanyinera, and Sapphire. So although Rico is SSR, tier D is usually composed of, of our, you know, our purple figures because they're usually used only or can have the, the power only um, in the early stages of the game. Rico doesn't do that much for defender because we have better defenders here. For tier C, we have Vasily, obviously a better defender than Rico, uh, but not really as close as the rest of the tiers B, A, and S. So Vasily is has a good um, ultimate, by the way, with stuns, but again, he cannot compare to the rest of the tier. So for defender tier B, you have Sanada and Astaroth. Sanada is actually useful right now, especially if you have an, 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 you have an Ignite team. And if you don't have Ayane and Hyuncha. Okay, so there are three defenders in Galatea. He is the least likely that you would bring. But again, if you don't have any defenders at tier B, he is a good utility to have. Then you have Astaroth. If you have built Astaroth, definitely a good figure to have for defender as well. Um, the problem with him is you have less copies of him. So again, he's really, really hard to build up. For your tier A, you have Crusus and Izumi. Um, tier A will be part of your mainstay moving forward. So these are your figures that you would build up, you would invest in, even if they're in tier A. Crusus is a very good defender. He's a very good de uh, starting defender. If you don't have your tier S defenders on this list, Izumi is hard to level up because, again, of the rarity on how you can get copies of her definitely she is very good if you have her even at one diamond she's gonna be very good for crusos again both of them are outstanding if you don't have the two on your tier s so moving to our tier s definitely they are the stars they are going to be your must-get defenders for um, figure fantasy. You have Megan, of course, um, with that big shield of hers. Uh, Ayane Okada, which she has um, frost crowd control and also gives shield. Uh, her, her utility is actually very good. And Yun Cha with, her, with his healing and, and his regen. Really valued and they're the top tier in terms of the S tier for defenders. Moving next to your Vanguard. So Vanguard, again, for your tier D, um, these are the lower tiers, mostly for purple, but Midori is here, lowest tier of your Vanguards. Um, rarely she being used in the mid up to the, what do you call this? The, uh, the upper uh, or the end game or near the end game scenarios. Uh, for tier C, you have Yamazaki. And Yuna, both of them, actually, Yuna is very straightforward with damage. Fortunately, there are a lot of better figures that deal a lot of damage and a lot have a lot of utility. While Yamazaki, on the other hand, is usually, uh, is usually used on utility alone. So, again, um, that is why they're in tier C. They're good to have their uh, Yamazaki specialized. And Yuna is one way in terms of damage dealing. For your tier B, you have Zhao Yun. Zhao Yun um, is actually very good for fire teams, uh, especially if you have his adornment that you know um, has his synergy with uh, Ignite. Um, he is going to be your mid level, even though if you you know, you 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 put him up to five diamonds. So he's gonna be with tier B. Yoko is here. Again, both Yoko and Yu Ina Mizuki are hard to get copies of. 
but definitely they're going to shine if you build them the right way next is going to be alfred alfred actually went down because there are a lot of vanguards already who came out that are nearly god tier or even guard tier so alfred is a good mid tier mid mid level vanguard but not enough to put him above tier b and the last is suzumi suzumi is actually very good for for a specific type of team which is usually filled with summon so he's she's going to be in tier b next up is going to be tier a so these are 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 vanguards that you would want to uh start building for especially if you don't have the tier s so your tier a would again is going to be good if you don't have the tier s or tier tier s level figurine so rin of course has been one of our reliable since she came out she's one of the earliest figures that were released for global and ultraman is the most recent one not the most recent one but has been released recently and is uh, actually kind of surprising in his performance and but he won't be really uh, classified in the next tier and to round out our tier s would be rimuru kuroko shirai and dead master so three of them they're vanguards and they bring a lot to the table dead master piercing ignore defense high damage kuroko shirai however uh, deals damage in a row but deals stun as well rimuru deals aoe so all three of them have their specialties so it's up to you on who you're gonna use if you have them but again if you don't have the three up here you can use the tier a vanguards that are recommended okay moving on to militarists okay so for militarists you have tier d again this is a mix of uh, your purple and a couple of ssrs you have rioma here for ssr you have ophelia here as well um again they are just starting figures um they will not really take you far but for your tier c you have camille here camille i've seen camille devastate part of my team in pvp but again he's, he's really difficult to to get copies of it's very rare so Again, he's going to be remaining in tier C. Norris is also too specialized to be above tier C. And Re is good in burst damage, but her her damage is pretty much random. But again, there are better figures on top of tier C. So for tier B, you have Vazerwin. Uh, if you have an all-around figurine that you need for AoE damage, Vazerwin, especially if you're starting out as a beginner and uh, you're in the mid game vazerwin is very serviceable then you have i akino here so i is kind of your sudo sakura it's hard to get copies of her but again if you level her up well she is really a good debuffer um, especially if you have her complete with until let's say for example five diamonds i think she can be a good figure but again the difficulty for her is going to be um, uh, getting copies of her. So, and tier B, you have Lubu here. Lubu used to have great damage for this uh, type of figure. But again, he's going down and we're off to tier A. So for tier A, Hatsune Miko. A lot of you guys are going to comment about Hatsune Miko. I put her here. She, she is god tier in in selected situations but not for all so i'm i'm bumping her down from s tier to tier a she's very situational but again if you have her built right she's gonna be dealing a lot of good damage then she's gonna be together here with crocell crocell is is gonna be replacing zarola eventually in your lineup so She's still with Zarola because Zarola has still has a lot of uses, although she dies quickly in most of the content. So again, they're there. Um, okay, just tell me outright in the comment section why you think 
Hatsune Miku should be back in tier S because for tier S, again, they're the queens. Um, at this point, both Milim and Mikoto Misaka can't be outdone. They're definitely up there um, in terms of damage, in terms of utility. They can't be outshined, not even for Hatsune Miko. So, although she is very good in continuously making sure that she survives, even if she dies, she has, still has her um, other clone dancing around and uh, more or less dealing damage. But otherwise, damage-wise and utility-wise, both of these girls up here are the queens of your military. So, moving next to your specialist. Okay, so for your specialist, we have um, specialist and helpers are going to be few, far and few. So um, this list is going to be short. So tier D again is a mix of SSRs and um, the purple variety. Only Arena is here in tier D. You won't use Arena that much um, beyond uh, beginning this game. So for tier C, you have Lafayette. Osuke Okada. So a lot of people have been asking, where is Osuke? Osuke is there. He is in the blue, uh, blue-haired guy. So as specialists, we have Sunny, we have Akechi Mitsuhide. So their use is very limited at this point. Lafayette is also limited, and that is why all four of them are at tier C. Tier B, Vivian. I found Vivian very good, especially if in, in mob situations. Very, um, very um, average, useful in terms of if you don't have any of the specialists on tier A and tier S, you can actually use Vivian. Irene's Embers actually is also here, but definitely my problem with her is getting copies again because of her rarity. So that is it for tier B. Moving on to tier A. You only have two. You have Harriet, of course. Um, she doesn't only belong to your summon team. You can plug her in. Uh, boss, um, if you encounter bosses, you can plug her in there. Xanta Kane as well. She is not limited. She has a lot of damage for a specialist. And the next two would really be your S tier or God tiers for specialists. So... Empress, our new collab. If you haven't gotten her, um, she's very, she's a very good specialist. A lot of things in terms of um, giving herself energy, giving her teammates crit. For Chow Chow as well, I'm putting him at tier S because again, even if you have, I've used him with only I think three. Three star, not three diamond, three star, and yet he is really powerful. So even a three star, you can use him four star, even five star. So again, for Chow Chow, you can clear higher content even if you don't have him um, at a lot of stars or you haven't even crossed diamond. It's okay. He really deals a lot of damage and he can control the board for you he is definitely one of your s tiers and moving on guys to your helpers okay so for your helpers you have none for tier d for tier c you have ume mizuno so again less figures for the helper category tier b is going to be ryuka ryuka the only reason why she's here uh you can't really can't really give her uh, or can't really use her at a low level. You need a lot of copies of her. Aoi is here. She's very situational again. Um, although she's good, but again, you won't be bringing her in most most content, only in specialized content. And Zhao Yu is here. Definitely our third best healer in this game, but he is in tier B. For tier A, you have Mako. Definitely, Mako is going to be your second best healer. And she gives crit as well. Zoom Liang is here. Zuki Liang is here. Because of 
improve survivability if he is in your team. So definitely take him even if you even if he is at um what do you call this? Even if he's at four star, five star, at three star, he's a bit of a liability, but he has to be brought up to four star and five star. That is why he's not in your tier S. So again, four star and five star would be good for him if you place him at one diamond that would e be even better and the last tier would be your tier s so definitely your best helpers would be erixia zephyr and sakura they are end game ready for this three i usually bring them for end game content sakura of course for silence zephyr for heal and for energy erixia for shared health so uh, take note Z zephyr and erixia usually go together and again that rounds out all of the classes of our figurine so don't worry guys i'll put this link or the link to this um, file in the description of this video so that you may have a quick reference this is a new link versus the old one for the previous months so make sure that you bookmark this link for future reference so Anyway, guys, thank you very much for staying this far. Take care, stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.